Hello and welcome to Text to Speech on OBS. Squawk is an OBS plugin for real time local text to speech. No network or cloud provided service needed. What you are hearing now is generated on the fly by Squawk. Let's see how it works. Hello everyone, Roy here. Today I want to share with you Squawk, a real time text to speech engine for OBS. What's special about Squawk is that it's completely local. It runs on your machine with a very efficient AI engine. It doesn't need any external software or service. It produces lifelike speech and it's completely free. You can install Squawk and start adding text to speech to your OBS today. Go on the OBS forms and find Squawk, then click the download button and select the installer that fits your operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to select that. Run the installer and let it finish. Once it's finished, head over to OBS. This Squawk plugin will enable an option to create a new audio source called Squawk Text to Speech. Add this new source to your scene. In the properties window, you will find an option to generate speech right away with a button click. Let's try that now. Hello and welcome to Text to Speech on OBS. However, the source can also monitor other sources or sentences to generate. You can select the text source and then if the contents of that text source change, Squawk will automatically generate the speech. Let's try that. I will select this local vocal subtitles text source I have here in my scene and I'm going to add some text in it. Hello and welcome to text to speech on OBS. Squawk can also monitor a text file in the same exact way. The other options here are to select the speech model. We have a long list of predefined models here with various languages. They also have multiple speakers in each model, which you can control from the speaker ID option in here. So let's select a Spanish speaking model and generate a sentence in Spanish. Hola mundo. With the monitoring feature, you can also generate speech from incoming subtitles as well. Let's enable local vocal on my microphone here. You should not be seeing subtitles on the screen. However, we would want local vocal to output the text to a text file so that we can monitor it with the text to speech engine. We're going to set it so that it only outputs one sentence at each time by selecting truncate file on new sentence. Now that the subtitles are going to the file, let's have Squawk monitor that file and generate text to speech from those contents. I'm going to mute my microphone. I'm going to mute my microphone. Now I'm speaking, but you should be hearing generated text to speech voice. Let's reset back everything. The other options in the Squawk plugin is to control the speed. Let's add a sentence like so. You can generate speech faster or slower as you wish. You can generate speech faster or slower as you wish. Since Squawk will be downloading the speech models to your disk, you may want to purge those if you don't need them. They're stored in the data directory for OBS. In the data directory for OBS plugins, you will find the OBS Squawk and then the models folder. You can simply delete all these folders from here or in OBS, you can delete the cached models by clicking this button here. So uh, this is Squawk. You can use it to generate speech on demand or from any incoming text data into your OBS scene, even OCR or an API call or from any sort of automation that you have in your OBS. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.